Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your crabby. Welcome back to Craving Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm making yet another great recipe from my Goan heritage. Today we're going to be making crab shek shek. Yes, it's a really strange name, but it's an amazing recipe. This recipe is made by roasting coconut and spices together. It's then ground up and the crab is simmered in this delicious gravy. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload a ton of videos every week. Also ring the bell, that's the YouTube bell icon. I will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. This recipe is famous for its roasted spice and coconut blend in contrast with the sweetness of the crab. You can use any kind of crab, fresh or frozen for this recipe. For convenience, I like to use these frozen, cleaned blue swimming crabs. They come cut in half and they're very easy to cook and eat. I've defrosted two boxes, that's approximately two pounds of crab, and I'm just going to add a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of turmeric, and I'm going to rub this into the shells and just keep it aside. Next, I'm going to roast some spices, starting with these gorgeous Kashmir chilies. These chilies give a lovely color without the extreme heat. I have 12 chilies here and I've just taken the stems out and I'm going to try and get rid of the seeds. If you get a few seeds in there, it's totally fine. I'm just going to give this a head start in the hot pan. And this is going to be followed by 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds. And 2 teaspoons of black peppercorns. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and about six cloves. hot so I'm just going to turn the heat down. This is looking and smelling very aromatic so I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to allow it to cool. In the same hot pan I'm going to add one cup of fresh grated coconut. You can also use fresh frozen just defrosted before use. I want to roast this coconut till it's a nice light brown. <laughs> The coconut is now looking nice and brown, so I'm going to remove it. I'm going to follow this with one cup of diced onion. I'm also going to add some ginger and garlic. I've sliced a one inch piece of ginger and about six cloves of garlic and I'm going to allow this to roast with the onions. I have some tamarind here. This is roughly a two inch ball and I'm going to soak this in some hot water. It's now time to grind the masala or spice blend that makes this dish famous. I'm going to start with all the dry spices first and I'm going to grind it to a powder. This looks good, but I need it to be a little bit smoother, so I'm going to process this again. Because my food processor attachment is small, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients in another jar, but this can be processed in one jar as well.
I'm also going to add the tamarind paste. I like to get my hand into the bowl to feel for any seeds as this could ruin my processor blades. I'm adding a half cup of tamarind paste. Now I'm going to cover this and I'm going to grind it and I'm going to use a spoon to scrape this at intervals. Add the powdered spices back in and process again. I'm going to add a half cup of water just to get this going. Now I'm going to cover this and grind it. Use a spoon to scrape this at intervals. I like to keep checking this at intervals and when it's a nice smooth paste, it's ready. Heat 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. I love using coconut oil in recipes, especially in Goan and coastal food. I'm going to add 1 cup of sliced onion and I'm going to allow it to saute. I've also sliced a nice big green chili. This is roughly two tablespoons and I'm going to add this in. Once the onion has some color, it's time to get the spice blend in. And I'm also going to add a half teaspoon of turmeric. Mix this well and allow the spice blend to heat up. As always, I don't like wasting any of that precious masala, so I'm going to add a half cup of water into the bowl to scrape off any of that residual paste. Levantando seu astral, vem que a festa tá bonita, pra você ficar legal. E a noite vai chegando, levantando seu astral, vem que a festa tá bonita, pra você ficar legal. E a noite vai chegando, levantando seu astral, vem que a festa tá bonita, pra você ficar legal. Next, I'm going to add the star of the show, and I'm going to coat it with that Shek Shek Masala. Add the water, cover it and allow this to cook for about 7 minutes. Give this a good stir and turn the crabs over. Taste for salt and add salt to taste. Cover and cook this for another 7 minutes. This is ready to eat. Garnish it with some coriander and it's ready to serve with plain rice and a simple salad. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings with Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for crab shek shek. It's very popular in my household and for good reason. It's perfect served up with some plain old white rice. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel guys. Do share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I hope to hit 50,000 subscribers this year and I hope that you can help me get there. Also, I love to hear what you think so do send me your comments either on this video or on my social media channels. I love to hear from you. Make sure that you're ringing the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, yes, and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.